hi guys welcome to my channel so in this video I'll be showing you how I customize and tweak my coats and waistcoats for a chic look it's trench coat and waistcoat season so it's definitely time to do a little tweaking and that's exactly what I'm doing today so this coat I got from Zara about three or four years ago and I saw the potential and its versatility so I'll be turning it inside out as you have seen and I'll be customizing it to make it work a little bit harder for me the inside of this coat is a really gorgeous light beige color and I love it so all you need to do is to get your scissors the smallest one in your collection with the finest tip and what you need to do is to carefully detach where the pocket is attached to the rest of the coat gently remove the threads and insert the pocket to the opposite side that's as simple as it is and yes it may appear a bit bulky on the side but that is not a problem at all the next step is to remove all the excess threads that's still likely to be attached to the body of the coat it's very important for you to do so carefully and gently so that you don't damage your coat there see that's how I did it and I would also do it on the other side so I can get the same effect to address any bulky issue at the side of the pocket all you need to do is to just iron it when done and it would flatten out and you're good to go so yeah guys that's what I do simple customization to get my coat to work a little bit harder for me the next step is to also remove the labels on the side I did do it in this video but it's definitely a must so carefully again remove the labels Keep them in a safe place so that you would be able to refer to them later on when it comes to the care of your coat. Sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note. Hi guys! If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys, if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video the next piece I'll be tweaking for you today is my waistcoat and whenever I purchase a waistcoat the pockets are often sewn together and I hate that but just because it's manufactured or made that way, that doesn't mean you can't change it. For me personally, I find it very annoying because I like pockets. Here I'm simply undoing the threads on both sides. And you just have to find an opening and gently use your scissors or your fingers if it's not sewn too tightly and just remove the threads and all you simply need to do is to find an opening and use your fingers that would work beautifully and remove the threads there you have it as simple as that you'll be surprised how many people don't realize that you can do that and get the pockets as it's designed to be and of course there's the issue of the vent at the back you'll be surprised at how many people walk around with the thread still attached to the vent at the back guys 
It's called a vent for a reason. You need the ventilation. More importantly, you also need to have more movement. And when you remove the thread, it definitely offers more movability and it's less restrictive. Let's just put it that way. So I am definitely now able to enjoy my coats and waistcoat. As you can see for my waistcoat, I can now place my hands in my pockets and I really enjoy that. In the fall, that's a necessity. And I have tweaked all of my coats and waistcoats accordingly. If they do come with attached pockets as well as vents, I often customize or tweak them accordingly because I like movability. I like my coats to fall beautifully and I often find that when the vents are attached, they don't flow or move as elegantly as I wish. So I am really enjoying my coats and my waistcoats and I definitely hope you have learned something. There you have it. My simple customization to make these two coats and any other coats that I buy um, workable for me because that's how I like it. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys find this helpful and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.